puppy. Oh my gosh. Hey, you're back. I'm sick of showing you around. So, you've been here long enough, right? Uh, I guess. Yeah, you can do it this time. Okay. Uh, all right. All right, take us around. This is Double Jump. Let's take a look. All right, you guys pretty much know by now when you first walk in, we got Xbox 360 and one right in this little hallway um, above their spots. They have the little signs there. And we got uh, some PS4 back over here. Got this awesome skateboard. Pretty cool. We have tons of collector editions. This is just all the cheaper stuff in terms of uh, on the shelf here though. But we'll show you the rest later. But then behind the counter, have tons of box consoles. Uh, people always get confused and think like, oh, uh, N64 is 300 bucks, but like this is just the box ones and all the bo original boxes add value. Um, but we have our loose consoles for much cheaper. We recently made a lot of room in this glass case because someone bought our Odyssey system and most of the games. So we now have the PlayStation 4 controllers and Xbox One controllers up there, along with our manuals for different systems. And this is still most of the same with Atari and Intellivision, but now we have room for our Animal Crossing Amiibo cards and some of the crazy expensive high-end Amiibos. But we of course have a lot cheaper loose Amiibos and all the other Amiibos. Last time I mostly covered Nintendo games, but I wanted to cover some other sections real quick. Of course we have some movies, we've got Blu-ray, anime, DVD, and VHS there at the end next to the CRT TVs down there. And then some assorted toys up top. And then we have our 13 and under PS2 games and PS3 along with their corresponding accessories up top. And then one of our attractions like we always show you Gashapon, these are always changing out. It's been incredibly popular, and that thing over there is always overflowing, and we are emptying it all the time. And we have finally gotten Pokemon plushies restocked. We had restocked before on the other plushies, but we've finally gotten more of the Pokemon ones, which is awesome because they've been really hard to get since the pandemic. And we have not a ton of variety right now, but definitely more in stock, which is always awesome. We have gotten tons of strategy guides in. This thing is full all the way to the bottom now. Before the last two or three shelves had books and other things, but now this thing's pretty packed and we still have more that are gonna be coming in. But, uh, we also have rearranged this a little bit. We have 3DS now up here, and it's taken up an almost entire shelf. It's impossible to keep the 3DS section full because they just sell quickly, um, especially with the eShop shutting down. But uh, we also have been able to uh, backstock some of our duplicates. We used to have like this whole thing as we fit before, and we've gotten so many other Wii games that we've been trying to keep the variety on the shelves and put the duplicates into our back stock, which, you know, these are all our, our Wii Fits now and our uh, Connect Ventures. But I mean, we have, I mean, this is pretty new. We have not had this many GameCube in back stock for a long time, at least, that I've been here. Our beautiful Pokemon section is always staying full. Games are coming and going but we're able to keep this thing pretty packed. And then below it, we also have an awesome variety of DS and 3DS. We've had a couple big handheld collections come in and I'm loving the variety we have of our handhelds. All right, we have a ton of handheld systems in stock as well. Again, these are always coming and going, but it's really cool they were able to just keep a great variety of these handhelds. Um, a lot of other stores just aren't able to keep them 
in stock like this, which I am just loving seeing this. Over by our second register, we have our vinyl and CD soundtracks along with some higher end strategy guides. Then to my left, we have the, your right, the switch section, which I mean, if you've been to a Target recently, Target has like, no, I have a picture and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it right now. It looks pathetic compared to this. And we have everything. And we're gonna have some used games on that side. And down below, we've got a lot more loose games, which, you know, I don't prefer the loose games, but it is awesome that our selection is just growing um, in any way that it can. So we've stopped pretty much doing the single cards and we're just focusing more on packs now. And we still have lots of Pokemon packs, but also we have some other various cards like Mega Man, Final Fantasy, Tekken, Animal Crossing, Yu-Gi-Oh! And some very old e-reader cards at the very bottom. Then, uh, our sealed glass case has changed a bit. We moved around the Wii U section, it was up here. And now it's closer to the front so people can see it better. And we had a ton of sealed Wii games come in. So if you're into sealed collecting, we have a lot to choose from. This cabinet, I'm absolutely loving our selection of. Still some good Wii U, some more variety in the Wii. GameCube, two whole shelves. And up top, we have some really cool things as well, like the Game Boy Player, which always comes and goes as well. Pretty popular. A inbox digital controller for GameCube. Uh, the Japanese and American Skyward Sword bundles and Pokemon Box, the English version and the Japanese version, which is an incredibly rare game and awesome to have. Next up, PlayStation cabinet. We didn't talk about PlayStation a lot last time, but this cabinet has been completely changed. We moved PS1 all the way to the top and brought it forward. And it's looking very good. We've got that awesome biohazard controller and that tiny one-handed controller in there as well. Uh, PS2 looking good as always in there. And then below we have PS4 and PS5 now in one section, which I think is gonna help the PS5 sell a little bit better. Before it was kind of tucked away and now it is proudly displayed next to PS4. And we also have some other random assortments of things down there. Next up, we have our higher end Xbox, Xbox 360. Then we have two whole shelves of PS3. Love to see that. And then below it, PSP and PS Vita right next to each other. And then some other uh, big box PS Vita stuff along with the PlayStation TV and the Vectrex. And we've also had a lot of 3DO games come in. We just redid the Nintendo 64 cabinet. It was looking really messy because we had a ton of games come in. I don't need to talk about this. Just take a look for yourself.
our loose console cabinet is looking as full as ever with some new standouts like the crystal clear Xbox. But the real star of the show right now is the brand new prop replica Slimer. Like the Super Nintendo and NES cabinet is, has been a struggle to fit everything in because we've just had so much good stuff come in. A lot of stuff selling as well, but we just have some incredible standouts right now. We got the Jetsons, Rockin' Cats, the Ubisoft variant of Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade, and then the very end, Little Samson, which just sold today on our website where you can find all of our games that ship worldwide. I'm tired of this. You need to take over because you're better at this than me. All right, guys. Thank you for watching our store tour. Don't forget, you can go subscribe to our TikTok. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Once we hit 30,000 subscribers, we're giving away the PS5 an OLED switch, a bunch of other stuff. And don't forget, we do daily videos showing you guys everything going on here at the store. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next month with another tour. Oh my God, look at his ass. It's freaking huge.